second game of this series. I am also trying to check. Shira's build? We did indeed. Yeah, I'm trying to see who played that clinks. Okay. Did I find it? I think I found it. Because uh, I'm very intrigued on what the item build was for him. So I wonder how much that uh, little pleb did the you'll have to do better than that voice emote. I wonder how much of that was directed at Topson, just to say. Mid clinks, really? We'll see. We'll see. So the build was uh, one Falcon Blade into Treads, and then Desso, Dragon Lance, and a Lincolns. They won in 25 minutes versus Spirit. But that wasn't a mid clinks. No, no, that was not a mid clink. So yes, I suppose, but that is the closest I can get for you. So quit your, quit your complaining. What were you gonna say? Come on, I heard us. <laughs> Shut you your mouth is what you were saying. I know. What no, you I was were actually gonna to say. say something else. Okay. I was gonna actually, yeah, and that is I cannot say that. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep was it. Was it suck it? But, <laughs> no, okay. no, it wasn't. But sure, we can go with that. Like oh, no Pleb chest. cannot be dying early on. No, my friend, you cannot. It looks like he might. Oh, Roger didn't go for it. I <laughs> said preemptively tipped him. No, you got to get the kill if you're going to do that. Oh, you're the Wait, fate bolt, man. Mm. Damage reduction. Nice. No, You'll have to do better than that. You'll have to do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what all right, all right. Damn, Seth's Grandmaster, they probably did not know that. I know he's man Grandmaster. Is a grinder. This dude, yes, man, he's a grinder. I know he's a Grandmaster, a lot of heroes. I did not know Enigma was one of them. They blood grenaded the Eidolons. What am I looking at? Is that actually. That's really cool. Okay. No first Eidolons to play with, so this wave now, you're not going to be able to get the range creep. I mean, you have a bounty hunter. How is he going to secure it? Hmm. You see many uh, blight stones on Enigma to start out the game? Because I don't. <laughs> Certainly yeah, can no. eventually build into like a, a solar crest or a medallion. I mean, of course, it does enable your bounty hunter quite heavily, but without the Eidolons, they're just lacking the damage to deal with LeBron, even with how aggressively he's positioning himself. We had a lot of action. Oh, we'll look back and actually see how it's breaking out. We might have a potential kill on LeBron. Pleb's doing a really good job with his positioning. And yeah, Roger's going to run underneath the sentry range. So at least he has now a good idea of where those sentries are positioned. Okay. No. I say, is he going to get himself killed? But he knows that there's not a sentry too close to the tower. Just went into tower range for the tower right click and then out of it. He's not going to be able to snipe the courier before it delivers that next blood grenade. So Seb is like, my poor Eidolons, my boys, what did they do to you? Roger, you can see how hesitant he is at being able to go for one of these right clicks. The Shadow Walk is just about to wear off, but I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. They don't have Eidolons to play with. Uh, Roger. Oh, and they might get Seb as well. And they're going to tip him. Oh, no. They got the multi-shot too. Ooh. Oh, no. Another preemptive tip. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it backfires. Mental <laughs> warfare. It's too strong. Oh, my that God. Tower regen. I think he yeah, even yeah, had the yeah. flag bearer creep regen as well, just in, in range at the time. So that extra three ended up helping him out. He survived on about 10 HP. Oh, I think he just... Uh, he might have been salved as well, and uh, well, the uh, the ice vortex cancelled that one out. So, plain, very very difficult for the enigma. I mean, it's an enigma that you picked into a Rubik to start off with, but you picked this to crush like melee laners, and they just went ahead and picked a drow. So, of course, drown to the spirit breaker. It can be a little bit more challenging for you, but outside of that, he's set up to have a pretty nice. Aggressive yeah, speaking about game. bottom. They are kind of fighting over the Lotus Pool. A little bit back and forth going on. We see kind of the priority. And the lane we haven't really paid too much attention to. So how do we feel about this one, though? Like, you see, no one is having a pretty good time. That's You're not expecting to change anytime soon? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, you, even if you do get, like, lifted and speared, you've always got the waveform to be able to get back towards safety. Like, he's still playing cautious ish because he knows that uh you know, just at level three you never really want to be going the waveform this early on is even more attention being given to give it over to bnc from no one and it's it's some good laning mechanics that have been able to put through, he might right? die. you're always Ooh. 
you're always naturally going to be pushing the wave in with this, right? Like Spirit Breaker charging through, um, you know, consistently looking to right click and oh, they actually get a surprise kill up top, but it might still result in play. Is it no. Uh, not worth it. All right, one for one. <laughs> keep come on, keep a high five. Come on. Oh, no high five. The difference How was they had that? idolons that time. That that was the what enabled them to get that kill. Is uh, actually bottom side. Do they get a lucky bash through here? Not going to be as lucky this time. Even with the blood grenade onto B and C, he's going to live at least for the next little bit. Just has to be a little cautious. And these two points adaptive strike are really putting him work down bottom. We want to look at mid really quick before we have any action down at the, the side lanes any further. Thompson, 26 and 1 compared to the 24 and 6. So it looks like both these heroes are having a pretty good time. What do we expect out of the early game from both of them as well? Like, well, what is their kind of role? Sorry, I'm still looking at that bottom lane. I mean, th there's not going to be any kills that Thompson's getting onto Moby. No chance. You know, he's got three points reactive armor, even the, uh, the tar bomb. It's physical damage, right? So he's going to be able to avoid a lot of that. Uh... I'm just expecting from the Timber Sword to be able to sit back and farm, right? You just need to make sure that you're getting into a lot of these early items uh, at a really effective period. I mean, I, I did ask for a Nullifier Builder for old G, and Klinks is one of the better ones. You know, you can see as they get a kill with a tip. Uh, is that the last one that Seb's got for the whole game? I think he's got one more. Okay. Uh, Hops he will mind. have... Sorry. Yeah, he should be okay. He's got Death Packed up in two seconds. Look to use it onto the siege creep. It's his level six. But yeah, from Thompson, I'm not expecting too much different out of uh, you know what you even see from a support clicks. So you're just going to get those items a bit faster. You know the the Falcon Blade, the Solar Crest. I think he can look to rush towards the Nullifier, or at least he wants to have a bit of a read on Mobe as uh -oh. to when he's going to pick it up. Leb. No, he did. There's the third. <laughs> There's the last one. Oh, they even wanted to TP the Mars in. Oh, no. That is... Oh, you're going to get the kill on LeBron as well. Yeah, that's just a freebie. And this is going to be a lot of damage under the tower. This is a catapult wave with even... I mean, a double wave with Eidolon. So this tower is going to take decent chunk. He's going to TP. Yep. He's making the walk of shame back to top on Pleb. So this, this tower is probably dead. Well, maybe not. I mean, so the thing is, like, when this is happening, you're thinking, all right, well, we've got an out number here potentially on the bottom side, but they made so many support rotations that are actually, once again, Kitrak, he's playing a great game. Like, he's coming back towards this bottom side. He's keeping the harassment up onto the Mars. Dude. I mean, if no one's able to get this kill, he might even stick around. No one. De oh, can he get the deny? He got it. Okay. No one almost just bossed the hell up. That sidestep of the spear was so goddamn wild. Yeah, he knew it was coming though, right? They had the charge oh, onto him. Come the time. on. You give they the added... man some props. Come Never. On. <laughs> we didn't what? give the support MVP last game. I'm that wasn't vengeful. my fault. Blame right. the production. Okay, production's great. Let's not uh let's not shame I them. said we should do all five. Uh, uh -huh. yeah, alright, alright. We still get Kitrak being able to steal away the wisdom rune. You've got one available on the uh the old G side as well, so Really couldn't have asked for too much of a better laning stage coming out for them. Obviously, they still did give away the first blood, but uh, it's gone back in their favor and even just giving Pleb a little bit of farm in this mid lane because they know that they just can't come up top here. He can't play mid, though. They have way too many heroes that can rotate early in the bounty and the Spirit Breaker. This is not a lane that he can play. I mean, even Seb's still here as well. Like, this guy's got Black Hole and he's going to get both of them as well. Let one of the teammates tip he'll wave inside the ultimate and kid track all oh, won't be an aggressive tip he's a positive but be guy one to praise seb and what a rotation what a black hole it is from the offlaner yeah, kid track is a very very positive guy much like myself uh you know <laughs> uh, bro his name is his uh his real name backwards all right we got something in common no my uh caster name is not my real name backwards but you know the backwards tech Radiance bottom tower. And his dude, Seb's not done. Who cares about landing top? If I see some kills across the map and some boys to play with, I'ma help some brothers out early on. And this is another kill that Seb will be involved in. Mega killing streak for Seb. What I right. this man this is a statement game. Yo, know, his last game, Coddle. 
That was all right. Wasn't up to Seb's standard, though. Wasn't up to his par. This game, he comes in, and he gets tipped to start from Lil Pleb. He's like, who the hell is this guy? I'm a two-time TI winner. Keep your mouth shut. Let me start to rotate on the map. Go 5-0. and zero, Have a 3k lead, and now look at them. They're all in the jungle. They're cowering from him. Maybe not, Maybe not the though. timber, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you got to be careful of that one. I mean, it does turn around a little bit, right, when LeBron is able to hit up onto level 6. Even just the Drow getting level 6, you know, for a little bit of that extra damage coming out, it means that, you know, just the one point in Gust gives a lot of value against this sort of lineup. You can stop the SB charge, you can... Oh, Roger, but he is making a ton of space. Four heroes. Oh. Can he get the... Ooh. <laughs> All right. Solar Crest completed now. My option. And, and that's the thing, right? You got... Uh, the Drow still has the Spirit Breaker and I guess you could say the Bounty Hunter to deal with, right? You, you're going to have that marksmanship disabled in a lot of these fights. So it really, again, just falls down to B and C and look at how much more attention they're giving him this time around. They are saying, Mars, not the greatest farmer and we are not going to let you get into that early blink dagger target. We're not even going to let you get phase boots. No soul, no soul ring either. You have Damn. about as much farm as our bounty hunter does pre track yeah. And I mean, Mars's game is it's pretty much over. You're, you're a relatively decent laner, but you do not recover. It's just, just as simple as that. So if you're wanting this hero to be able to scale, you have to just miraculously somehow get kills in arena and, and get the um, rewards from the enemy team. But your your potential of being like some crazy late game threat, it, it's not there. You you will just be a blink initiator now. Which is what they need. Like, don't get me wrong, that is what they need. There's a big reason why they picked it. Also, because he had an incredible game one. Careful on Alex. He just hits up onto his own level six. So now, if they uh, do venture too far underneath that vision, of course, you can get that track turnaround, which, you know, might be the thing that brings them back into it. You know, 5k net worth lead. It's. This would be big. Maybe. It's a pretty decent ice blast to try and step out of it. Nice stun from Roger just on the chain away. A perfect timing. And now even no one's coming through from the rift as well. They they know how truly strong they are. And they see free kills, which equals free gold and a lot of it as well. With the track from Roger, that's going to be double track kill tower to their name. 6,000 net worth lead. This could get out of hand very fast. I mean, it already might be. Already got the treads coming out for Topson, going straight into the Desolator. So, you know, I was thinking that Ancient Tribe, they were really gearing up to play a little bit more aggressively than uh, old G were. But, I mean, maybe just a bit of a brain fart, a bit of a senior's moment. Forgetting just how aggressive old G liked to go. You know, they did it in game number one. Didn't work out for them, but you know, they're, they're far too experienced to completely go back to something that's a, a different strategy from what's given them so much success in the past. It's all in traps, nice. I need to rely on that pretty heavily. Love to have put it onto Topson, but don't have the vision of him at this point in time, and he's going to walk out of that sentry range too. Although he's about to go back into it, LeBron. He's in danger. Being said, it's a pretty decent arena. Kitrak's going to do whatever he can to try and disrupt but it will not be enough as they just go a little bit too deep and bnc turns up and that's pretty good first real big involvement out of the mars unfortunately it is alex that gets the the last hit on it of course bnc would have loved to be able to have comfortably finished up his soul ring get a decent way towards the blink dagger a little pleb as well he has been hindered by this early game. He's got a nice neutral item in the Spark of Courage, just the three Wraith Bands, though, that he's looking to play around. And, I mean, it really doesn't feel like he's ever going to be in a situation where he's going to be comfortable with how these lanes have gone. Roger, not looking to just go full yoink. The... Like Matthew, though. It's Korea sniping Ahoy. Oh. All right. Tops and no one. Just watching the bounty hunter up to his bounty hunter shenanigans. And meanwhile, we see just BNC go down to uh, a couple cores. And they're going to also aggressively take over some of the farm as well. So not only are they getting kills and taking towers, but you're also just further minimizing the camps that 
ancient tribe can farm to potentially get their way back in this game. They are, and I mean, look at even this observer ward that they've placed up to the right of Little Pleb. Like, the trees have just grown back on this top side of the map, but he was literally farming the neutral cramp there on the top side uh, because he just can't show in lane, ever. He's going to get found out. Whoa! Dog, oh, damn it, that was so much damage! A wisdom rune on someone. Should be able to at least. So they'll also get a D ward. Oh, they're going to give it to Pleb. Yep. Yeah, I mean, don't, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And I mean, Seb going for this Helm of the Overlord build, we are going to see a very fast paced OG. And they can look at Roche, I think, by when he completes it. So, yep. Lead City will what be played is... on the top side. You've already pushed in this top tower. Seb can look to play around that, and I mean, Kitrek again, he's playing another very, very good early game Spirit Breaker. No deaths at this point, and he's just looking to consistently charge people and make space for his cores while they're in there. I say they're greedy a stage, but Topson and Seb have not been playing greedy. They have been playing not aggressively. Roger, good positioning. Pops the smoke, unfortunately, they've got a sentry nearby. He's done his job. Oh man, Seb just got out of range. It's still an awkward position from the Enigma though, but even Mobe chains aggressively into the middle. Seb's going to be able to sidestep the ice blast, but it puts him one spot closer to little Pleb's arrows. So a two for one in the end. And I'm, I'm I don't know how many track you'll... Two. They got two. The, it just wore off. Like the spell still ran off towards the very end there, so he wasn't able to get more than that. But most of the gold does go over to Pleb. So, pluses, to be sure. Again, this again, you just cannot show ever on these lanes. That's why they're having to get really creative with where some of these wards are, where they can look to farm neutral creeps as opposed to, you know, other creep waves. They're obviously the sentries as well. Putting them really deep serves multi-purpose, right? It's going to be able to find out where Roger's looking to enable those charges through but also it allows you to get the kill onto Roger and it uh, it prevents them from being able to just have information about where they can look to play next. But, you know, the fight previously, it was about even, you know, but, uh, oh gee, they don't want even. They want to get this early ages. They want to be in a position to use an early-ish Desolator, which Thompson is only about 400 gold away from to be able to really take away all of the map that Drow especially has uh, the potential to play with. Clinks or Morph with Ages, you reckon? Morph. What is kind of game plan now for, for OG having this Ages advantage? What, what, is it T2 tower time? Just go from lane to lane? I think they're happy enough to just take away uh, Ancient Tribe's team fight, and that's BNC. Like you can see, they've already started the charge in onto him. They do have an Observer Ward that's going to. Never mind, that's an OG Observer Ward. So hopefully his spidey senses are tingling enough on BNC that he's going to be able to back off. He's got the phase boots just two, 400 gold away from the blink dagger. Really does feel like it's going to be his decision making that's going to change the, uh, the next little bit of this game. Without that blink though, not able to they need Mobe. mount too much. Yeah, they do. You can't just walk up onto this high ground. I'm a little surprised that they they did look to make an attempt here. Like, they're not under the smoke. They don't have the Blink Dagger on the Mars. You need it. And you need the Timber Saw there for the damage output, too. It's, they're going to be too late now, though. Like, potentially... they know. Yeah, they know it's water. This game connected, so... Tops and Pings out the high ground. Really good read. There's, there's no reason for them to play here unless there's a ward nearby. Like you said, they're going to go around and set... To, maybe anticipating Ancient Tribe. If they're going to leave anywhere and go to another powerful position... It could be towards their own triangle, and I mean, their read, it would... Oh, man, they were so close to walking up there. They will. LeBron will face check. Oh, That's cool. They're going to be able board. to drop it first. LeBron. Ice boss just on a Roger. Look at the first kill and don't have to commit anything else, really. Stupid sentry ward. Sorry, yeah. observer ward. That's called sentry That's ward. That's named, yeah. yeah. Uh, they've run into Mobe, though. And there's just no escape, and not with a spirit breaker. He, he's going to be able to buy some time for the team. And a wall. No way. What a no. Okay, he oh. saw. Oh my god. No one. Beautifully done. Walks right next to the cliff, but he has bought enough time for the boys, and that's a hell of a blink call from B and C. 
but there's no ice blast, so there is no follow up. And without any drought nearby to pump in the damage, oh gee, they will be able to play it accordingly, just safely reposition, reevaluate how they can go about it. And they see a freebie in LeBron Dota. So close, so, so close to being able to get that damage. I mean, you see the effect of the Blink Dagger though, right? It gives them team fight. It gives them space for, you know, the AA to potentially look to play around. Good Ice Vortex being laid out there, but you need the Ice Blast, like you were saying. And uh, yeah, even the Drow being able to turn up with a multi-shot might have been the difference maker. She's level 12 now. She's got the, uh, the Hurricane Pike as well to be able to play around with, just to stay away from this Clinks and the Eidolons. But, I mean, it, it's going to need to be around that next arena that you're really looking to fight means there's a little 35 second window then for OG. They're even smoking as two. It's going to be Thompson and Kitrak in combination together to sweep across the map. They should know though with that cliff ward. So yeah, they ping it out. Storm they see the skeleton. As well. Huh. Hmm. No one's actually just going to BKB. Saying forget about Ags. Maybe anticipating that this Yules is coming be able to contest him. Oh, shield rune. Feels pretty amazing for Mobe. And they're just wanting to get aggressive. Like they, they've basically resigned themselves to saying, you know what, we're going to lose our tier 2 tower. There's nothing we can do about it. Let's try and get something else in response, but they're not going to be able to. Thompson just playing around that top lane. Hard to kill. He's going into his own BKB as well. So basically just don't take Timbersaw down damage is the MO for OG right now. Seb, now Seb's got Blink. Is he going to be able to get... No, a little bit too late with the reactions. We'll take it. Uh, they will definitely take it. Nice kill for them. No one's going to be able to scurry away with a minute left on the ages. <laughs> oh, come on. You could have had a better timing on the tip. I'm actually disappointed with that one. I've liked all the tips so far, but you had one left, I think, and you use it like that. There's a long game ahead of us. There's a long road, potentially. You're also down 9,000 gold. Save oh, it when you're back. at the base. They are. They're doing a good job. They are clawing it back. But he's out of tips. What happens if they claw it back even more? Then what do you do? Little player be given another wisdom rune, so bringing himself up to level 13 now. And then look at a scale. You know, the, the gust, of course. Extra silence duration against the SB. Mm. Oh, nice stun. Ups and should go down. Beautiful setup from Alex. The first one in. There's going to be no escape. They are continuing to claw it back. They've got some really good wards across the map. They see Seb back at the triangle farming. They get a uh, vision of Kitrak. I mean, the ward, but also just the creeps were there naturally as well. So they are doing a good job to stem the bleeding. And that is truly the important thing. They're starting to get control back of their own areas of the map to help them recover some of the gold. What's he got on the ruby? He's actually finished the Yule Scepter. All right, pretty decent timing for Alex. And he uh, he had the track stolen once again. It's just one off. And, uh, well, Seppi was just letting the Wisdom Runes mature a little bit. He wanted to make sure that he could get almost level 15 already on this Enigma. Well, they're able to go once again. I, I think they really just realize how important these BKBs are going to be. They're not going to be this synergistic timing where they all happen at the exact same time and you're able to go and not worry about the Mars Arena at all, not worry about the Timber Saw, able, enable you to just stack on top of the Drow and really reduce all of her output. But they're going to come in a similar sort of timing, maybe two or so minutes, but maybe that two minutes is going to be what Ancient Tribe need to be able to, you know, claw this net worth uh, lead back even further in their favor. Nice yours. We are seeing that. Oh, actually, hold that because top lane. Did no one see Mobe? They have, but not going to continue the chase. So Mobe is going to go through the rift. I mean, uh, we, we are seeing Pleb like starting to posture a little bit more aggressively as well. You know, just trying to get that kill at uh, the mid lane onto the bounty. So he's feeling a little bit stronger with all the wisdoms they provide him. That's the talents to work with. Even and is it level we... 18, 15 talent is going to be pretty huge for him, right? Like again. Yeah. It's still a case where you find a lot of difficulty showing on lanes. So having eight extra seconds off the multi-shot duration almost doubles its uptime. It's kind of crazy. I, you know, there was a lot of talk about this hero with the Ag Shard going to the Scepter. Just 40, oh, hold that, because B and C. They got the bounty scouting him out. So they should be able to get the kill. He does get the blink before the charge. 
Very nice spear as well. That's probably going to be enough to keep him alive. They do see Mobe as well. Seb's already used Blink, so if he goes for the straight TP, he might be able to make it. And he also will. Okay, back to the draw. A lot of people were speaking about kind of the, the shard going to the Scepter was a big nerf just because of 1,400 gold compared to 4,200 gold yep. is a drastic change in how much uh, how expensive it costs and it can delay other items. Can we see this game, though? Because you are against the Morphling. There is a lot of value. I mean, Seb, of course, some of the auras as well. Is this something that he could be considering? And if so, when could we see it? Mm. I think there's a potential for it to be the next item, right? Like you've you've got a you got a bunch of wraith bands. You're going to be able to pick up a lot more of this farm for yourself just off the back of uh, having the Lincoln Spear to be able to play around with. So at least you know that there's not going to be some Spirit Breaker charge coming at you from the other side of the map. You know, it really just is going to be on little pleb understanding where Kitrak is at all times, and Mobe has to be a little bit careful as well be able to get back to the high ground at least but is he going to be able to get back to base is the question oh nice nether strike look at Thompson's damage oh my god they might get the kill onto Roger little pleb super over positioned not going to matter though no one does have to commit pretty heavily with the BKB waves are way too close Sorry. can't go high ground so I mean Mobe dying not the greatest, but you do get a uh, an Agadim shard for yourself. It's onto the AA, so a little bit of extra control as well. Never hurts. Oh. He's got oh. the cold feet maxed out, of course, to be able to combine together with that. And we're even starting to see the supports go a little bit of you know, more defensive tools. I still really feel like like he's got the Scythe of Vice queued up here on Topson. Would still love the Nullifier, you know? Cancels out the, the uh, Hurricane Pike from Lil Pleb. Is going to cancel out the Yule Scepter, cancels out the Ghost Scepter, and if Timbersaw does eventually decide to go for this Aghanims, it's going to be effective against that too. You can tell Tops is for that solo kill. Just wait. Give me another second. The bronze going to be the nearby. Charge. Pop the Lincoln to get the charge in from Kitrak. Topson's a little bit hesitant with that Ice Blast connecting. So, what is it? Double BKB expended? Meanwhile, here in Arena, Roger. <laughs> so, would it just get out? Very nicely done. So, I guess when we spoke about Radiant using some of their own stuff, but Diana Arena on cooldown as well. And you do have Roche up in 20 seconds by the looks of it. It will spawn up top, being nighttime. It's a neutral item situation. Thompson's got the Grove Bow. Drow wasn't quite so lucky. Focused a lot more on survivability. Got my favorite tier two neutral item in the Gossamer Cape coming through, but no insane value coming through from that this time around for Kitrak. He really just is trying to be as tanky as possible. Of course, movement speed for a Spirit Breaker is king. I think just importantly, it's... Dire aren't going to have a gem compared to what Radiant do, so is this something that needs to be considered from the supports? Do you, I mean, do you, how much do you value this blink on LeBron? I mean, I, I just, you have to wonder what he's thinking with it, right? Like, is it one of those things where he just wants to be able to blink and legit, like, point blank ice blast someone so that there's no way out of it? You also get that little bit of a stun coming from the cold feet and you know maybe that's enough to be able to take out no one because it's still going to be quite a little while potentially until he goes into the Aghanim shard for himself of course he's going to have that extra life to be able to play with and at least looks like they'll be able to take another oh, they might oh. get it oh very so, close be able to get another tier one tower almost just waiting for someone to show on the lane. It's just Roger here for now. They haven't placed down any sort of sentries as should still be able to get the tower. Well, but they're, well, they're starting to grow a little bit more, but again, they have really stemmed what was a huge early game advantage and looking like it just could have blown wide out of control. But it looks like with this Aegis, it is time to now get some objectives, and they will do that at a rapid rate. They need to respond, and they need to do it now. Robson's going to be in a position of BKB. BNC gets a pretty decent jump. A little bit expended. They won't be able to get the kill to no one. No arena is enormous. Like There really isn't anything stopping Topson from being able to do a lot of damage now. I think he might have just eaten the cheese as well. So, we don't have that to be able to play around with anymore. But he just wants to, again, keep the pressure up as much as possible. 
this base world's got to go as well. It's giving them way too much information. And you have vital heroes that that rely on positioning. And uh, Ancient Apparition, Rubik, the Drow Ranger. And you honestly you need to see the Mars. That that is your blink only blink initiator. So this ward has to go. I think you want to go high ground once again with the, the vision you have on OG. And look at LeBron. And it, like not only his item build, but what he's got queued up and the neutral item. You know, a Blink Dagger AA with Scythe of Ice queued up Damn. and uh, an Enchanted Quiver. He just really wants to be able to get that quick pick off, enable it for the rest of his team. I think they realize that... Oh. Nice spear! Nice spear! All right. Ice Blast a bit early. I don't even know if they got the pass through. They did. So BKB is going to be expended from no one. Look at little Pleb just beelining it towards the Morphling and they're both dead. BNC would just miss onto Kid Track, but that was an age's advantage with a ward on the higher gun that completely goes away. And all right, hurry. And now BNC uh, and the boy, I mean, they're in a great position. I know it's a 10,000 deficit, but this is kind of artificial with a bounty hunter in a way. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, the, the net worth lead ever since that first Roshan. Oh, sorry, not the net worth lead. The Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's the moonwalk. Oh, okay. Well done. Well done. Well done. Hmm. I just don't know if Dandelion Amulet's the the choice for this Mars. Where's the magic damage coming from, really? You know? Hobson's scouting mode there. Can he? Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Hobson's also just sitting in the shark room. Maybe he doesn't have the greatest mana, but we'll have Blink up shortly. Um, okay, yeah, ma magic damage? Not really. What's the stats on it? Not much. Movement and mana is really... N I think... It's okay. A mana is vital on a Mars, because he of could course, consider we don't know now... What else he has. Like, that is very true. Else. Yeah. But... Yeah, uh, just so, so just to speak about this and at least what it provides you, I mean, movement speed, you, you need that as a blink initiator, and mana on Mars in particular, because you are a refresher builder. And he wouldn't have had enough with what he's got right now. So maybe if it's desperate traits, then he could go that instead of Lotus. Yeah. Do you think Pleb thinks they have to do better than that? I think so. I think he does. I don't. Have I heard another voice line? I don't think so. No. That's all I've heard from him. I do. So we haven't spoken a lot about him, but we, you know, we did mention the draft. This is your classic Pleb here on your classic Morphling counter. He's. He's pretty farm, dude, considering he had an abysmal lane. Like, how, how scared do we have to be of his of his current gold? You have to be a little scared, sure. I, I don't think you're scared necessarily with it on its own. It's really just about finding that setup through, you know, again, uh, BNC. You know, is he able to get another great Blink Spear off? Are you able to get the AA debuff onto him? That's really what's going to enable this. They've gone a little bit too deep. Doesn't seem like it. Roger running into the bait lake and oh, not able to survive in those cool waters. I think he's got a full silver edge now as well on uh, on the drow. So a little bit of crit, a little bit of extra uh, lack of presence on the map just with the uh, the invis. Okay, raining for BKB. More multi shot damage coming through as well for the drow. I can appreciate that. I mean, you're, you're, you're a bit of a streamer enjoyer. I mean, I'm assuming that you've seen the uh, the clip where Quakefer's multi-shot goes literally the full screen when he's got uh, Hurricane Pike and Glacier. Didn't even have a grow boat. I have not, actually. No, I have not seen that. It's pretty stupid how far away you're able to land these, uh, these multi-shots. So I have to wonder, like, he's going the Blink Dagger. It's important, don't get me wrong, but I wonder what stage he feels like, you know what? They're going to be pushing up onto our high ground. Let me just get a freaking Glacier, you know, just to be able to ping away from such long range that they really can't deal with me. And if they go that deep, we've now got the damage to potentially deal with them. I mean, you've got a heart on Mobe. Do indeed. So you got him to play frontline. Are you going to have a response though to Seb? Because he's got Blink, Lincoln's BKB, queuing Refresher next as well. Like, that could be the ultimate X factor in the late game. Yes, you've got the Rubik, but that is the only thing you have. Yeah. And again, he's going to have... They don't have anything else that goes through the BKB, right? It's just the spell steal. 
So he's uh, he's going to be able to reliably now get off these Blink BKB black holes. So is there anything that they could potentially like look to go into that's good? Like you might just need to right click down the Enigma, right? So the really the only thing that you're worried about is controlling the drow during a black hole. You know, that is what Seb is going to be looking for. Get a charge in onto Pleb. Thompson again just playing He's kind of playing like a support clink style, you know, really just getting up in their face, creating a lot of havoc, forcing TPs away. But of course, he's got the damage to nearly take out a Timbersaw with heart on his own. Yeah, damage in the levels, level 20 for Thompson. Pretty much second highest this game, so... Like I mean, you still see... Choice. Not the Chakra on... slow against the Enigma with the Midnight okay. Pulse that you're having to contend with. I've really... One of the first few times Ancient Tribe have been proactive this game. Gonna smoke. They no one down to the low ground. No one's on an easy jump. He can always BKB. You need to pit him against a tree. Oh. Do they just go for the blind? Oh, oh, they didn't see him. I think too late, actually. Maybe they did get a glimpse. All right. So, again, one of the few times we've seen Ancient Tribe actually get out of the base. It's really been OG just controlling the map for, I mean, the entirety of this game. So, they make an attempt off the mark. And now, I mean, they will be able to get Tormentor, but really just the important thing, we see the read from, from Old Chief. Well, firstly, Topson's going to get a Barracks. Oh, but this is very aggressive. He doesn't see anyone else. Uh, importantly, Radiant, they're playing towards the top side of the map because you have Roche, there's a potential for Roche to spawn. So they will have firm control of that area, and we know how hard it is to reoccupy that when someone has a formation set up. It is, and look at Topson. He's just still going into onto the high ground. He gets us back here. He's uh, just a little bit too close, I think, on Pleb. Never mind. He's able to get away. Mm. This is kind of big, right? I mean, some of it is making space for no one. But they probably... They, they, they were hoping for a little bit of a longer Roche spawn, I think, on old G. Just because you've got your level 20 on the Morphling, and he's about 1,200 gold away from the Aghanim Scepter. So you want to have it right before the Roche pit is about to happen. It's going to, of course, swing back, in my opinion, in Ancient Tribe's favor, uh, if the AA is able to get into something like this Scythe of Ice with the Blink Dagger. I just think that that's going to be coming far too late. So, like, the next... Five minutes is all G's. After that, Ancient Tribe has the possibility. Dude, this, uh, Seth, this hex is so ambitious. I, uh, this is a pipe dream and, and a half that I've ever seen one. I just... <laughs> if you need a hex, to can't you ask Mobe to pick it up? Like, what are you going now? That he just completed Cheevers. He's got Blink as well, so it's like he can. You know, maybe there's an Octarine to be considered. Um, just go in a hex. Sep Septor, yeah. Septor. I really don't know why he has it yet. Like, they have no Alex. offensive spell. Scouting with the skeleton walk. They're going to see B and C, though. So, with his blink getting cancelled, it's going to be awkward to initiate. The collision, though. Okay, track. All right, Hobson. Uh, quickly just removes the Rubik from the game. And now they're going to have the numbers advantage with Roche up in 50 seconds. They're still ready to go, though. They just need to back off as a team. Don't let anyone B &C. get picked up solo. Pretty nice. Big pick. Ice Blast is even better. Thompson, he's going to get melted. Little Pleb's able to stand strong with a Drow Ranger, and we can see how much damage she can do. We saw for the Kling's Prime to Mobe. He feels the strength of this hero. He knows no fear currently. No one. He still hasn't even got the Scepter as well. With this TP. He's got the Replica to potentially Ambitious. play with. Oh, that's, okay, yeah. 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 Very, very. How much is this? I mean, they've still got the tier one tower on old G to be able to play around with. So when Thompson comes back up, Roche will have spawned for about 35 seconds. So should be enough time to be able to get back and contest this, but they know that Roshan is most likely going to have spawned at this point. You can see little Pleb so hesitant of being mm. going onto that front lines. Alex, despite having bought back, he still uses that arcane supremacy plus the Aether Lens plus the psychic headband to place it from complete safety. They no one bought out for Scepter. Or BNC. Yeah. Nice timing for the BKB from Roger. Pleb's got a great position on high ground. It's going to be so difficult for them to, to penetrate the Drow's position. It's morphed into the Drow, not the Timber. So, reduce okay. damage on Pleb. I think they know that they cannot go into this Roche pit. And he doesn't have any Manta style or BKB on Pleb, so he's just yeah. perma-tracked here.
going to give that all-important time for Thompson to get back up here with the rest of the boys. If Roger's the one that was tracked as well. Stolen by Alex. They're going to smoke. I think it was... Smoked under the ward. I didn't Alex. see. They should know now here. at least. No sentry there, so potential the gem. BNC, again, power position. He's going to give them the information. Kitrak, not going to mess around as well. They want to try to take the control and team fight out of the equation. Oh, BNC will at least be able to land the arena. Can he go down though? Still standing strong, trying to control it. Meanwhile, no one. They got a glimpse of Pleb. Sep, he's just tunnel visioning over to the drow. Stolen black hole, but it's too late. They're going to try and buy back on little Pleb. They won't get too much value out of the stolen black hole, but it's OG. Have they used too much on the first no round of lives? Seb jumps on up, but no one. He's really the person that's in trouble. Pinned against the wall, and no one goes down. And now little Pleb, he'll get the final laugh of this team fight. Seb also buys out the for the refresher. So two big cores without a buyback. Third Roche goes the way of Ancient Tribe. I mean, the only big buyback that you're using there was Little Plebs, and he's going to get the Aegis off the back of this. Just that little bit of extra control that he was able to get turning around the uh, the black hole. Ooh. Going to get a, a bit of a free kill as well onto BNC. Of course, has the buyback for himself, but they still don't lose the racks, and they still maintain the gem as well, so they're going to be able to sweep across Plebs the map. in danger. Yeah, he is. He needs the boys. He needs Mobe to join him. It's a nice aggressive pike. It's not going to matter, though. The boys are starting hey, to arrive. Hey, Ulti arrive. can come. Oh, look, look at that point blank. Jump in. Oh, what a chat AA. Who gives a damn? Cheese Eden. He'll protect his own life, but they have used almost every component of that third. Roche. Stop Kitrax charge, though. Nope. Do it himself, Mobe. It's all right, because Pleb can jump, and Mobe's going to blink as well to follow in pursuit. So as now gem two. is reacquired. They got two. Okay, they got two. Never mind. That's what I was expecting out of this AA Blast, right? It really takes all of the questions out of the equation. You're always going to be able to land the Ice Blast, and LeBron, I, he has been the one to just turn a lot of these fights. You know, if no one is dead, I really don't think you're at all concerned on Ancient Tribe. You know, it is an amazing Morphling game this time around, but just because of this AA pick, if you're going to first pick a Morphling, you have to expect that some of these counters are going to come, and LeBron has been playing it pretty well. A little hesitant on Pleb for going into anything that's going to be able to remove that track for himself. But he does have a ninja gear as well to be able to play around with, in addition to his blink dagger and the silver edge. So he needs to be mindful of that. He's also holding on to this refresher shard. I, you have to wonder if you want to give that one over to B and C, surely. They will. I, I, uh, I'd be very surprised if he keeps holding it. You get oh, free no glacier. Value. Let's go. Uh, it did, he used it straight away. I've, I'm now convinced he's never used it. <laughs> I'm now convinced he's never used it. If you use something, a new ability straight away, yeah, you're, you, <laughs> you're not comfortable with it. I mean, it I just gives you me. an extra 200 range, right? And you have to remember that multi-shot is a, a range multiplier of 1.75. So, you know, it's... Uh, it's just going to be so much more value than what you're actually getting. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is a lot of people's first time seeing the Glacier, but I can't wait to see it come out in a lot of these fights. Really takes away Topson's potential to poten uh, to solo you, unless he gets off that Scythe of Ice. But again, like he's got uh, a Lincoln Sphere as well to play with on little Pleb. So also holding on to the gem too, which I, I really don't hate, you know? Maybe anticipating that a, maybe a Bloodthorn's going to be coming through next. That BKB oh, being God. picked up. To smoke on smoke as well. We're gonna go around. This could potentially ever... decide the whole game, man. And tip without a doubt, twenty-five. Smoke pops. And they're gonna be able to blink away. Seb's actually leading the charge. Look at the full wrap. Walk inside. They're, they're split the though. This is super awkward. If a fight breaks out now, oh no 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 no! He doesn't have the poison. He doesn't have an agent as well. And there's nothing they can do against Big the black steel. hole. But it gets stolen. Where's the damage though? They might be able to turn around with the talk room B and C with a double arena. Moby <laughs> mows them down, but no one. He's got nothing to fear. Now, every key ability has been used and no Drow Ranger that he has to go up against. So no one and tops him against the reigning ancient tribe members. They should be able to chase him down. There's a buyback out of B and C. But that will provide them nothing. Three heroes now it's in the, the grave oh. without a buyback. 
that Is bounty route, enough? it's so far away. Ooh. Well, Timber's going to get enough in five seconds anyway, so okay. wouldn't matter. Just keep me back, LeBron. You, they need your ice blast. I oh, die. Oh, BNC. I mean, you got Rubik up in 15. Maybe. Do you think they're going to be able to... No, no, okay. Timber's all the way back. He's thinking maybe he gets them on the full retreat. But, so, and you still haven't lost a melee rax after all this. With LeBron getting caught out in a disastrous position, but what a three-man black hole that comes out from Alex there. But it's oh, you'd say that's still a winning fight though for a rating, yeah. You use two buybacks, one on the yeah. Mars, one on the Timber, and we are seeing multiple fights in a row. There is no quick black hole response. It, you've I'm impressed with Alex, but it's gotta be said he just has to do it faster, otherwise they're just gonna go for the draw again. It's a hard position. If it be for him to be in, but it's the position they're in. You think if, we're putting if, that one on Alex? I mean, they were very split. Very. No, what, no but no, they're not. That's that's not what I mean. What I mean is, is that we, okay? We've seen back-to-back -back fights, right, where Seb just goes straight for the draw, and you can still black hole, but if you do not cancel that thing straight away, the draw will die. And we've seen that back-to-back -back now. Seb doesn't care about anyone else. It is the only person is the draw. So what I'm saying is like he's been great on steals, but I'm sorry, you just you have to do better. It's otherwise <laughs> no, like I'm just I sorry. I'm sorry. No just, remorse. If you want to win, if you want to win, you have to do some godly plays with some godly reactions. And don't I, I'm, again. I need to say this. I think he's done very well with stolen abilities, but he, there's no one else that can stop Black Hole, right? And if you are just a little bit too late, if, if Pleb dies, that's fight over. And we've seen that now. You've got two people with no buyback. That's really what I mean. Right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm not trying to be a bad guy. I'm just saying, like, he has to really... He's, you know, if you he could try not to be, stuff, but if you are, back. you are who you are, you know? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come on now. Come on. Gems on the deck. Alex, I will... Oh, are, they, are they using this gem to bait? They just, they've got the gem on too. the deck next oh, to the Morphling uh, Mantos. Uh, they're gonna give it over to Kit Track eventually. I mean, inside of a base with a Glacier is where you wanna be on Ancient Tribe as long as you're not getting corralled what? around the stairs. <laughs> oh my god, this guy knows no fee, holy. Pop's getting shoved out as well with a Catapult and some Eidolon, so they'll oh, kinda need to reposition the Pleb. I don't think they were going for that AA ice blast into the drow's damage because she's getting to that point. Mobe has to be a little bit careful. BNC showing top. Oh, okay. okay. Be big. Yeah. It's actually the spirit break of being the first one to go that item that I've been wanting uh, Thompson to go for the whole game in the nullifier. You know, it's and it's going to be pretty decent timing and be able to respond to Mobe's agony. Oh, pleb. Just thousands. <laughs> Oh, nice telekinesis. Mm, I'm just gonna force though. Huh? Gets the track though. You'll have to Level three. That. All right, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so Pleb's buyback is back up in under twenty, but no he, money. yeah, no money. That's the big thing. And for Dyer, it's only Rubik with buyback. Ayers is about to be back up, so you will have two to work with. Whereas Radiant, they have three. So. We, uh, looks like room for the long haul. What's the probability? 75%. Okay. I'd say that's about right. I mean, it, it's all about, like, is Pleb going to get caught out, basically, to me? Because he is the only one that can respond to this black hole. He's the only one that you're wanting to use the black hole on, so it really just does come down to a bit of a standoff. Bernie like army on... Going to be able to, uh... Oh, he does have the burning army. We bought it too, so. And hate the burning barrage as well on Topson just to be able to quickly shove out lanes. How many shards have they got? Oh, I mean, it's only one on Kit Track, so. Except that's a full Octarine on Serb. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's so huge and he's not even top net worth. He's slotted. You might want <laughs> to make that Octarine not be in your backpack, Seb. <laughs> it was a little wasted. What he what he swapped? You just sh shadow shadow on and off? Yeah, I guess boots. Yeah, shadow. Yeah, shadow movement speed. I think he had a ninja gear as well on Seb. No, never mind. He's got the the, uh, the trickster's cloak. 
So it looks like we're kind of just waiting around for Roche. I'd say this favors die with a longer Roche spawn. I think only was a minute 30, maybe. So, I mean, the, really, just you're waiting for your, your buybacks to be back up. That's the big thing. So, unfortunately, they won't be. They're going to be a position where, because you don't have map control, you don't know when Roche is up. So you're kind of forced to come outside the base and take a fight. That's nearly the 25 as well, and I mean, they want to give him a little bit of extra priority, right? If he can stand here, backed up by the rest of the team, farm this creep wave, get his 25, it'll also give him oh, enough for buyback please. as well. They, they gotta get Sweet. him this buyback. He's like 350 gold away. He's got the 25 at least, that's a start. This camp should give it to him as well. Uh, they might just go bottom though. Kitrak's kind of prepping the wave for no one to force them back. They've got the glyph available at least, but Alex, he's going to be the one to have to deal with it. Of course, knowing that he can TP into that outpost. They're going to pop the glyph. No, they're not. Exposed barracks. And the, with them using all the TPs back as well, Roshan is not going to be contested. Roger they even into Oh, but who gets they're gonna, Yeah, wow. They're going to kill him as a response to that, though. So they're in the rebuttal. But this is the big issue now. You, you've got an uh, exposed barracks, which means... There is always that thing as a as a trigger for Ancient Tribe to come back instead of contesting Roche, which is now available. It's going to go bottom pretty shortly, though. 20 seconds. Topson's already kind of setting up for it. He wants to be able to pick off anyone that might be trying to set up Vision to be able to contest at someone that might be going out to the quote-unquote safe side of the map. Go for that quick pick off with now the Scythe of Ice that he's got picked up with the Mind Breaker as well. He's the Drought, has the... Uh, has the BKB to be able to contest with that. Really not going to be able to stop too much else, though. They're going to get rid of that. Right, they do. I was going to say, got to get rid of that ward in front of the tower, and they do. So both sides got some gems ready. Fast. Oh, yeah. Where'd it go? Got Septon now to work with. Uh, does Seb pick it up? Probably. They're coming. Seb's got the Scepter now, Eden. Extra damage with the Black Hole. 50 seconds on buyback for Mobe. And 20 on Mars. So, again, high ground with a glacier. It's the place you want to be. See, not wanting to stay out on the map for too long, but needing to make sure that he gets rid of that Watch of Vision, considering uh, OG did just take Roche. All Vision is theirs for this point in time. Still put that Watcher next to where little Pleb is farming. It's even claimed by OG at this point. Just using the ninja gear to be able to skip a couple of waves. They've both got it. What? Using him as a bit of bait here. LeBron looking to back him up. He has the uh, ice blast available. No sight of ice for the AA, unfortunately. What is kind of the game plan with this high ground siege? How, how do you need to structure a push from OG? Mm. I think you could just utilize the burning army for a lot of the space that it provides it's also potentially taking away the blink oh, dagger Pleb. potential from the far out one proc just did a k damage maybe move more on no one yep. sorry sorry continue you're burning our army for space cancel the blink dagger and then you know you don't have as much response coming through from bnc maybe you can afford to play a little bit more aggressively like, they are reading this well, dude. Oh, it looks like they see maybe... Oh, they get a glimpse of him. And the chain control is going to be perfect to prevent any form of magic immunity. Meanwhile, Mobe is going to try and do whatever he can to provide some space and distraction from the barracks. But they will be able to get out as soon as they see the teleports down bottom. Do you pursue, though? They're splitting up the map so well, right? You've got Seb up to level 25 as well. So he's got the extra Eidolons being converted. You could use the, the Clinks to just shove in the lane naturally with a Dark Pact. You could Spirit Breaker charge through one. And with all th Tier 3 towers gone, like you've only got these melee Raxes to be able to defend. I think it's going to get to the point where you might need to give up one, but you know it's just a matter of how efficiently can all G execute. Still holding on to that top melee Rax somehow. Yeah, Sun is to come outside the base though. Trying to reclaim their own triangle back. 50 seconds with a 4v5. I wonder if BNC. This isn't silly, is it? Like, could he go the regen talent for level 25? And if Drow gets Arena, just drop it on her. 
to maybe like prevent the clinks from hitting in onto you or something. Like a Roger. Another nice opening. They're doing a pretty good job recently to be able to get some of these slimy heroes. I will go back to that surely. I think they're going to wrap on bottom now. I mean, Pleb's positioning very aggressively. Going to see Kit Track, but uh, the rest of the team's a little bit too far away as well. Links up to the high ground. And now with this advantage, I should be able to get the kill. Mimo over to the right side. Mobe's continuing to make some stays. He's stuck inside the Got Midnight axe, Pulse. No, nope, but Seb TP'd out. Man, Seb just ditched no one. Uh, but this dude's got the ages, get back but it's quickly. not going to matter. When Drow is nearby, Pleb will pump in a stupid amount of damage. Topson's coming as well. But what can they really do? Got him. Timing on the spear from BNC up against the wall. No Pleb, who jumped to Topson as well. The clicks will not escape. Trying to scurry out of the cover of the skeleton walk. But Ancient Tribe lose absolutely no one. It's, it's all pleb. Like, this is how you have to play when you're playing from this far behind, right? All lanes shoving in, down to your last racks. And he just goes for the balls he play. Use the Silver Edge. They might not have Wait, warded Seb? super defensively. And Seb, he might even die too. He might not even escape with the haste. What, what, what's the play? Do you refresh it or blink away? I guess I Seek might stop it instantly. And okay. you can just Shadow Blade and escape. Oh, we got stuck. <laughs> Pleb blinked and got stuck. All right, well, what's the call now? 50 seconds. You don't know there's no buyback on Morph. But I'm mean, fine. Safe thing, you know, push the tier two mid. I mean, Pleb's at the stage where he can just easily take that tier one tower top. They've still got it somehow. I mean, it's very minimal armor. I don't think it's enough to just be able to, you know, push the lanes out, farm the jungle a little bit more. Man, Mobe's got a heart backpacked at this point into the game. What's... I mean, intrigued why he's got the boots in. Personal preference. Personal preference. Surely you take the Far chance. out. Come on, Pleb. So, we've got some time. Can you, before you were starting to mention the arena, uh, Grand Regen, he did go for it. What was kind of the... the if Drow gets arenaed, maybe she, in Black Hold, maybe she lives. Pretty much that, right? Because okay. not only do you want to drop it on her for that purpose, but also you just want to make sure that, kind of like what we saw at the very end of game one, right? You block some of that range damage that's coming through of course morphling can just look to waveform inside of it still look to attack the drow ranger but clinks doesn't have that luxury no. right. uh can we even see uh, because for some reason lebron could go luxury items so can we consider some more luxury items Are you were thinking about some form of wind waker because fights have been won off the back of black hole so if you can waste that and save someone inside it could that be something you are considering as a super pipe dream I'd rather see Alex uh, get it. I mean, he's already got the Yules right halfway towards building it, so it makes a lot more sense for him. For LeBron, uh, what could I see for him? I mean, Spirit Breaker has not been able to get the... Oh. No way. Dude, he stole that Wisdom Room. And he's going to get out of Live to Tail, and they're coming in. They've got a super good ward to play with as well. They will still run into Roger, but he's just making space. It's a distraction game. That's all it is now for the bounty. They'll get the start onto the Mars. That's an important hero, vital to their team Topson's fight. Dead. Topson's just Maybe not. up, though. Meanwhile, no one tries to deal with the Ancient Apparition. He's got a buyback. All eyes on Seb. Ever so patient, Enigma waiting in the wings, hoping for the perfect black hole. But he needs to go shortly. This Ancient Tribe starting to retreat back to their side of the map. And now Mobe, they got on Seb. They're going to now force his own ham, Seb. If you're not going to jump, they're going to make you do so. He'll try and blink away, but Topson, he's into the middle. Trying to target down Pleb, but Pleb will turn. Nothing to fear, as there is no black hole for Ancient Tribe to worry about. There's a big creep wave in your mid lane, though. Someone's going to need to go back and deal with this. And looks like, once again, Ancient Tribe will be able to retreat as a team. No man left behind. Except maybe Pleb. He's still hungry for kills. He's got that Shadow Blade, sorry, Silver Edge coming up Seb is in a couple well. of seconds. Oh, they see Seb, Pleb. Seb, 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 Seb. Oh, just blind black hole. No, he didn't go for it. They didn't that's have a risky detection. play. That, that's high value, high risk, but calls it off. And now no one. I mean, Pleb's got the reinforcements. Almost meant to dodge the silence. Man, that was close. He still gets away, though. 
far out this game is on a nice edge and man it means so much for these teams it does that mid lane is still pushing in even more finally the tp started to come back from pleb realizing that you know what we've been able to claw back another few free kills you did use the buyback onto the ancient apparition so Ooh. again he's not going to be able to make wait they got no one oh can we blink hex? Right, Brom might die to the illusions. <laughs> uh, he, he just wanted to check if he was baiting as well. He used the, the hex onto one of them, just in case it was a little bit of a bait coming through. Okay, okay, okay. What Are there any like crazy T5s you feel could change the, the status of this game? Look at the dead, full rat, all five of them. <laughs> just send them down different lanes. Oh, you wanted a real response. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wanted a real one. Sorry, I thought you were going to follow up with a non-shit answer. That's yeah, okay. huh. well, you should know me better <laughs> by now. Um, <laughs> I, I Okay, so I, I'm still... I'm going to sound like a freaking broken record. I still want to see a nullifier on Clinks because then if he goes into, I don't know, a pirate hat or a Stygian Desolator, that's going to be enough to blow up some of these heroes, especially at this late stage where buyback is king. And you know AA doesn't have it. So I feel like if you're able to take that out of the fight, then, you know, maybe you're able to Mobe? allow the Morphling to actually take a consistent fight themselves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mobe's got no boys. And his armor not going to mess around. He'll get the black hole and instantly refresh. He's ready to go for a second round. Do you buy back on Timber? Because you've been seeing Mars has been caught out as well as Thompson just tears him apart. And Seb, look at the wraparound. They're going to clip. Oh, dodge. A blink. He got away. LeBron bought back, remember? Away. He's out of the black hole and now they're going to be in to punish them. Lil Pleb, that is tip worthy, my friend. What have you just done? A team wipe. And now Roche and time to walk it down. Oh my god, this is the stuff that Legends are made of. You know, these sorts of quick reaction plays like that. He was waiting the entire time. I want to have a look at his player perspective. I'm going to download the replay after all what? this win, lose, or anything else coming through. And all that damage, he's able to output it as well. 12k just on the drow alone. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the f What the hell, man? What is that? Who has got reactions like that? That is, Holy that's badness. actually stupid. Mm -hmm. That is so dumb. Let's get some tier fives. I am concealed. Here we oh, go. Yeah, thank you. Let me see that bad boy again. I like this. Just black hole. You, you, you haven't been using in fight. You see an opportunity to get the timber off, which could potentially force a buyback. You kill him to start. It looks good. The chain control is perfect as well. He wasn't able to pop the agonims on the timber sword. <laughs> such a tempting target the bars they're still holding the buyback they're still holding it plebs attacking <sighs> quick reaction speed to be able to get out of it and then they they come in i believe they both have the boots of travel on the mars and the timber saw bots too as well so that channel time is even shorter they're able to instantly get back into it timber instantly pops the reactive armor as well and they just blow the hell up yep. on that morphling atomic bomb status is mobe and one more bomb might send this game into shatters and for Ancient Tribe to be able to take our first series of the night. We do have some tier fives getting picked up. Do I have to quickly mention as well, Age is on Mobe because he did buy back. Um, that was a Scepter Roche, right? So Scepter picked up for Lil Pleb. I like that because I was actually going to start to mention, I was going to ask you a question of, do you prefer this over Moonshard? So, all right, he's got that very old and Hypothermia <laughs> and the Moonshard. Um, and Night King. Now we can look at tier fives. Uh, any that you currently see that can break open this game? Sorry, I'm just looking at this giant creep wave up top. Someone's going to need to deal with it. Uh, what can break open the game? I mean, the X Machina feels pretty great, right? Double Scythe of Vice. Timbersaw, already very tanky. So you obviously just want to enable that even further. Uh, what's old G going for? I, again, I, I'm, I'm on board with the Desolator. I'm bo on board with the Pirate Hat. Fallen Sky, I mean, if it enable, enables you to kill LeBron again, like, he he was still a factor in that last fight, right? He was able to get that Blink Scythe of Vice into the Ice Blast, and, I mean, he was why no one wasn't able to stand and truly fight with the rest of his team. It's not like this ex Machina is going to be... I mean, he does have five active items, but no Satanic, you know? No, nothing like that that you're going to be able to, to play around. Double BKB is always... You can never scoff at that. Mirror shield on Seb. It's a big timber. So he's got ages. 
And the big tip is going to go down the ones. It's a big ice blast. He's alive. Go down, dude. They stole Black Hole as well, and they won't even lose Mobe. Oh, okay. I, I, I actually forgot about this item that Alex has picked up. He's got the Book of Shadows. So with the Rubik playing with that extra cast range from the Arcane Supremacy, you just use that onto the Drow if she gets caught. She is the only person that you're playing a lot of these team fights around. And now Little Pleb's level 30 as well. So what is Roger doing? Uh, some cheeky plays. Still in the gem. Look at the TP away. What did I... So what could have he possibly been doing? What? Because he went in the base thinking maybe something was dropped. Did, was he wanting gems? Maybe a rapier <laughs> on the Drow's courier. I don't know. I'm so intrigued. I am so intrigued. Black Hole gets used. Everyone TP's back. Ice Blast. Connects. And it connects on no one. And they get the stun. And Lil Pleb's going to be in with the damage as well. Big tip. Doesn't have time to wave for more weight. Even pops the X Marketer for some extra spells to use. What is this, Axe Labyrinth? Another round of the BKB. <laughs> this is the Timbersaw boss. Riz Rack. They get a glimpse of Keith Rack. Yeah. Just right, a glimpse. That's a dieback. <laughs> oh my god. 64% probability now for the boys on Ancient Tribe. Buybacks. It's only Morph and Bounty Hunter for Radiant. There In is 10 minutes, we've had a. I want to say. God, what's my mass like? 48k gold swing. In ancient trash paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's not too much. If ancient tribe win this game, there's no question that Lil Pleb's the MVP. Oh no. Oh no question. Yeah. Oh, tiny bit early back. on that ice blast. I was thinking that they might have timed it to be able to land when Topson was looking to respawn, just prevent him from joining into this fight, prevent him from defending the high ground, but looks like they'll need to back off anyway. That tier one tower is still standing up top, but the creeps should deal with it. <laughs> and they got a Wind Waker. So we brought that up earlier. Yep. You got Wind Waker, now Book of the Shadows as well. Anyone have a telescope? They got two Book of Shadows. AA's got it too. All right. Just to kind of remind some of the stakes online, because this is a very important last second day here of Western Europe, Ancient Tribe. A win puts him in a very good position to not get relegated. It will at least force tiebreakers if Alliance beat Nigma. And for OG, a win also gives him a very good chance to be promoted. Um, that could potentially set tiebreakers up with 5-2 count. Uh, even if they lose, there could also be tiebreakers as well, but you do not want that guarantee. So this is what both sides are playing for and what pretty much every team is playing for today and tomorrow. I honestly was questioning, like, what is Drow even going to do with all of this gold that she's got? And of course, when you've got an excess gold, just buy a rapier. Why not? LeBron? You know, of course, there's the potential. Oh, LeBron starts, and Mobe and PNC are in Slim, but the three man black hole! That's and a big enigma! The Drow, Sam. He's done it, it gets stolen, but it might not be enough because he's stolen it back. It's his own turn to chuck out the second round of the black hole, and no one can start to get the damage going. That is the fight that they have been waiting for ever so patiently. Give Tops in the rampage. They will not, but it does not matter. The damage has been dealt. They now have no buyback on two of their heroes. 47 seconds and 44 seconds away. The lanes, of course, they're naturally going to push in. And they've even got, what did I tell you, Book of the Dead coming through here from Kitrak. It's going to help with this push up towards the top side of the map. But I wonder if they even feel safe enough to be able to go up onto the high ground without that double black hole available because Seb just completely turned this game on its head. Net worth lead is back to basically zero. And we have a goddamn rapier as well. It's a 3v5 for 80 seconds. I mean, he had to buy back. Why not? Dyer's middle barracks are under attack. They're just gonna try and blow someone up, it looks like, as they went to high ground. Pleb yeah, reveal. Necro warriors. Yeah. Both have buyback. Pleb, can't go too far forward. Just realizing. Do you, do you, do you keep megas or buyback? What's more important? I don't think you give this bottom lane. 
You gotta make a decision very soon though. Yeah. Because they, if they get set up, then the buybacks could be wasted. And you can't let Lil Pleb get jumped as well. I mean, look at that. It, you, you see how cautious he is. He's got the X Machina though, to be able to play around with. AoE Cold Feet coming through and there we go. Pops it, so BKB available once again. They're just gonna look to rally around Thompson. Oh, Pleb, Pleb, Black can't get seven. caught. Black hole in five. Black hole soon. Nice defensive telekinesis. There's the first One buyback. buyback. The buildings are falling though. One tier four down, a second to follow. They'll pop an, an aggressive glyph early on to try and buy them some time. As Pleb, Pleb's in. What can they use to protect him? Nothing. Maybe down, and maybe all their damage is gone as well. With the throne exposed, Topson, all his eyes and attention is put towards ending this game and sending us to a game three. Oh boy. It really did feel like Ancient Tribe got all of those <laughs> neutral items they could have possibly hoped for. The European Smiley.